guys, it's Damas. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I've zoomed in a bit because of boners. Um, let me see this installment. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Anyway, up here is a jigsaw piece, and you're there, you're there like, what the hell, jigsaw? But um, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. You know, go and find a picture, picture with a piece missing. Um, for those who want to know what a jigsaw piece is, or a Jiggy for sure, actually that's the name. That's uh, the nickname in this game is a Jiggy. Uh, basically, in this game. Uh, Mike, in my, in, instead of stars or shines or golden bananas or anything, the collectible in this game is uh, jigsaw pieces. And you need them basically to access other levels throughout the game. As you can see, there's a pit, uh, there's a puzzle here with a piece missing, and um, you need this to. And whenever you fill in a uh, puzzle, you open up new levels. So it's to fill in Mr. Space on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any, press B. Why would I not want to use any? What good is that? Let's <laughs> imagine there's that going. Actually, I want to keep the jigsaw piece. And I just walk around this small area. <laughs> what is the point of that? Anyway, um, the first level is called Mumbo's Mountain. And we are going to enter it. There are three new moves to learn. Find my molehills. Okay, collectibles. Um, okay, first of all, that there is a Mumbo token. And it explains how me Mumbo's token used for Mumbo magic. I'll speak about that later when we actually find Mumbo. That is a Jinjo. Collect five of those in each world to get a jigsaw piece. It's like a usual thing in like lots of games. It's like, like for example, Mario Mario games. You have to find era coins in every level, basically. Um, DK64, you have to get a blueprint. In this game, the collectibles Jinjos. That's the only like consistent in each um, like game. There's always like a certain like mission they have to do in every level, like especially in 64 games. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, there's notes underwater. The okay, these are the notes by the way. I forgot to mention. Um, there's a hundred notes in each world, and you need them basically to go through the witch's lair or Gruntilda's lair. There's me, like I don't know the witch's name. That is a bull, he's going to kick the crap out of you, even though you can't actually hurt him. That's a beehive, and um, you get a honeycomb over there. Well, it's not really a beehive, it's a whatever the hell. It's a box. <laughs> okay, so, um... I'm gonna go up here. Because... Jigsaw piece. So, you must search for 10 of us in each world. I already said that. If you're not listening, then go home. Also, you might have heard that. It's like, when you're ready to leave this world, return to the star area. Stand on the pad. Yeah, stand on the pad if you want to leave the level. But yeah, you might have heard that. Help! That's basically the gingos. Every time they're like, they want you, like, if you're close to one, you'll hear one go, help! I see there's one up there. I'll get that in a minute. We have to talk to Bottles first. The Talent Trots. This is the first move. He'll let, he'll let Kazooie tackle steep slopes. Sounds useful. Press the right trigger and then hold the right trigger, press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right trigger while moving with the left stick. Okay, on the 64 version, you have to press the Z button to do that, to crouch, and then the left C button to um, do the Talent Trot. But yeah, it's right trigger, left trigger in this game. And basically, you, you walk up slopes effectively. And also, you do move faster. So it is a, it is useful in a lot of ways. Anyway, Jinjo. You you will use it a lot in this game. Okay, anyway, I'm going to quickly um, walk in, go into this termite hill. Turn my compound thing, whatever. It's not really, com oh, it's not really compound, but whatever. Because there's a mumbo token in there. Shut up. Okay, second mole hill. Okay, he said, I caused a big buster. Jump into the air, then press the right trigger or left trigger. But this thing's doing something hard down the front. I always press the right trigger. God, but I don't like the sound of that. Get used to it, nest girl, you'll be using it a lot. It's basically just a ground pound. Just they've obviously renamed it in this game. Um 
So yeah, just press A to jump, and then Z on the 64 controller, or Z, <laughs> Americans. <laughs> For all my American fans, which is a big bulk of my fan base. But yeah, Z, or Z. It's, what we, it's how we pronounce it over here. I don't know, don't ask me why. Anyway, all you gotta do is ground pound these huts. Anyway, there's eggs in this one, um, the eggs will explain themselves. Where are the eggs? Kazooie, you can learn to use them. Um... Anyway, as I said, there's three moves in this level. Um, the third move basically involves the eggs. Anyway, there's an enemy in that hut. Kill him before he kills you or wants to kill you because you've just destroyed his house. There's a Jinjo in that one. Anyway, 50 notes. We've collected enough notes to break the first note door. Yep, yeah, we have. No doors are um, things that, are, um, that block your progress through the castle. You need, like, through the lair. Like, you need um, to go through no doors to progress from through Gruntilda's lair. And then the last hut, there is a jigsaw piece. And uh, speaking of jigsaw pieces, there's also no, what, there's one right here. And um, we'll go in there later. Um, and speaking of jigsaw pieces, <laughs> yeah, this this level's easy. This game is pretty easy, actually. I mean, it's it's such an awesome game, but it, unfortunately, it is pretty easy. Like DK64 is much more challenging than this. Although the final boss is pretty gay in this game. Now, um, I actually got a bit of criticism for not doing the DK64 boss. I will pro I will probably get back to that sometime. I'll like just do like a little like bonus video of me doing that boss. But um, I do hate it so much. And speaking of the final boss, I do need to practice on this final boss as well because I haven't done I haven't actually played this game in a hell of a long time. Like that file was from a hell of a while back. Um, that um, other file I had, like the 100% file which you saw in the first video. So yeah, I, I'll probably practice the boss. Anyway, um, more notes on these slopes. As you can see, we're approaching 100 already. <laughs> And uh, the final Jinjo's on this platform here. Yaha? Gaha? Okay. I'm awful at that as well. Okay, into this area. Basically, there's, there's this Conga. He's like this mad um, gorilla. He'll throw oranges at you. And you basically gotta stand on the switches so he hits the switches with his oranges. And you get a jigsaw piece. I'll pro I will do this level in one video because it isn't long. <laughs> Is that like, hey, that's Conga's orange? Yeah, come up, come up the tree to take the orange to give to the chimp. I love that. Yum, oranges are nice. That's that's all the orange had to say. Like he ha he had to say that. And then Chimp's there to say and help the fat bear, which is really insulting seeing that we just gave you an orange. Maybe maybe Banjo should have ate the orange. If he's fat, he should eat healthy. You never know. Okay, so, um, collect these eggs. I'm just gonna go over here. Collect these stuff. Okay, we've got all five Mumba Togs in this level. And there's a. Okay, this is a Gruntilda switch or a witch switch. Um,. Ground pound it, and basically what happens is it makes a jigsaw appear in Grand Tilda's lair. Apologies for the glare as well from like the window in the back. I've got my blinds down, like my, like my little um, sheet thing down. Well, not really sheet, you know, blinds, yeah, whatever. It's already blind, but I've got it down, but there's still like a little crack and like the edge obviously seeps through. Anyway, um, the ancient way of the egg. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out your mouth. Um, so anything else? Sure, press B instead and you can crap them out, I mean shoot them out from behind. Sounds painful, I wish I never asked. Yeah, you can carry 100 eggs and um, he'll give you 50 in a moment. Let's stick to aim while you're crouching. Eggs sighting. Go kill yourself, bottles! <laughs> anyway, now you've learned to use the eggs, he'll give you 50. And he's there like, no, that's all the new moves in this level. Okay, 
So on the 64 version, um, it's Z or Z, then up C to um, shoot, and then it's down C to crap on the um, on the 64. But yeah, actually, it's just unnecessary. You have to have the farting sound as well. Just, just to tell you, just basically so you know what it is. Anyway, now you have to fight the gay gorilla with his sports bra. Just shooting that guy in, and he'd be like, Whoa, I'm mad, bro. And then one more time. He is a bit of a pussy, in all fairness. Like, oh, we got him wearing a bra, just take my prize, because I don't deserve it. Uh -huh. So yeah, now to go up. I'm gonna well, now to go back to Mumbo's area or the area around Mumbo's hut. Okay, now this totem pole in the middle. Uh, now I've got now I've learned how to use the eggs. We're um fire eggs into his mouth and he would disappear. But um, don't actually, um, don't, don't get rid of his last one because there's a whole honeycomb piece here. There's two in each um, level but now. There's six in Spry but there's two in the rest of the levels. It's cool actually that you need a move from the gorilla area to get this jiggy here and you need a, and you need the grandpa move from here to um, actually to get the witch switch over there. I mean, you don't need it to get a jiggy. Per se, in this level. Here we are, we enter Mumbo's hut. That is Mumbo Jumbo, he is a shaman. Or a shaman, whatever. I, I call it shaman because it sounds funny. And he's there like, oh, you woke me up, you dick. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help out and the filthy feathered one. <laughs> I love that. I'm the filthy feathered one. Mumbo's magic tokens hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Oh, you found the tokens. I will help you. Basically, you need five. Obviously, because it says on the board there, it says five. I jumped into five accident, or whatever. So, it's going to skull, press X to transform into a termite. It's like Mama's magic free to change back. You come back when ready. Termite a bit small, but not bad, yeah. Okay, now with this termite, um, we can actually enter termite hill. And we actually climb it because even Kazooie, despite the talent trot move, he can't actually or she can't actually climb um, this termite's hill thing. Like she can't tackle these slopes. Anyway, get out of the way, please, because you're blocking the notes. What are you doing with your life? I really wish you wouldn't actually stand there. Thank you. Anyway, you found all 100 notes in this world. Well done. And you get extra life every time you find 100 notes. But to be honest, like, this game isn't that hard. Like, you shouldn't need all the lives. In fact, if I stayed with the three I had at the start of the game, like the default amount of lives, I wouldn't actually get a game over, I don't think. I wouldn't lose all three. And um, anyway, on the top of the time hill is a tenth and final jiggy in this level. And um, you get this little like music. Naturally, banjo would do a dance, but um, obviously I'm not banjo, so I can't do that. Okay, one last and the last thing in this level is again this is a slope which which um, so we can't handle. So the termites will help you get um, that hollow honeycomb piece in the mountainside. And, um, yeah, we're done now. Just a view totals, if you want to have a check. Um, that's everything. 100 notes, 10 jiggy, 2 Hollywood pieces. And it's up to 13 minutes. A little bit longer than, um, that what I recorded. Um, on my old, on, on the camera, which started to crash. But, you know, still not bad. And anyway, the Grand Tales there, jiggy need the termite to climb up that, And then you're fine. So it's like Mumbo and Magic get weak, and we'll turn back. Yeah, um, once you exit the level, you have a certain perimeter before um, the magic runs out. 
do 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 So yeah, that's me done for this video. Um, next video we will um, progress through more of Grand Total's Lair. So yeah, thanks for watching this down my start and I'll see you guys later.